everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today is two days after the day before yesterday, which means it's May 13th, Sunday. Uh, it's in the afternoon. I'm trying to battle the uh, trying to battle the weather. We got rain coming in. Should be here in about I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so let me really quickly kind of just let you know what I'm going to be working on tonight. That's not in much in the way of stuff. I just got to beat the rain. So here's what we're doing today. We are going to, as soon as I can find the weight, uh, we're going to get the CG set up and how much lead I need to put up in the nose. Now what we did is a friend of mine popped on over and uh, sorry about the background noise, but anyway, a friend of mine stopped on over and uh, I got the plane together. She's sitting right here. Um, and then brought out the big old batch of weight I got from Paul and this was 1.23, 1 pound 2.3 ounces of lead that he had on one of his planes and he brought it over just for me to, you know, just use it as a test piece to see. Now, I was really hoping that this was going to be way too much and I can get away with about half that weight. I need all of it. So we set it up on the plane, I put it right here, up on the nose, and let me get it lined up. Put it right here. It's going to go directly below this part right here, um, and it's going to screw to the to the uh, the engine mount. So what I did was I took this inside. Let's wander back inside, and I made a little foamy box, and that is one pound. Turned it off. Three, two, one. Nope, it zeroed. I don't know why I did that take this off so right there let's tear it right back there we go 15.9 15.9 one pound I could put another I could put another couple in there so anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm throwing down uh, just I think it's gonna probably be pretty close to two ounces of 30 minute epoxy I'm gonna be mixing in with this there's six I gotta have 30 in here somewhere anyway there's six Yay, 30. And I don't know. I'm going to have to go with six. I'll dig around, see if I can find some more 30. I've got to have some somewhere. Um, so if I get this all, oh, here it is, 30. So I'll get it all set up, uh, stir it all in, pour it inside, and pretty much throw it off to the side, bring the plane back inside. And then. Uh, when this is all set up, I'll have the cowling off, the wings will be back upstairs, I'll have the cowling off the plane, and I will show you exactly where it's going to get mounted with the hopes that it's going to be good enough. I'd rather have a little bit too much uh, where I've got to remove some. Now, I'm going to probably, just as long as the initial flight is good and everything is rock solid on it, I'm going to be putting the smoke pump in. So now when I put the smoke pump in, it's going to have another battery up front, plus it's going to have the pump motor, which is probably about six ounces, and that's going to be stuck up. Uh, it's not on the other side of the firewall, but the inside part of the firewall. So I will be taking some of this weight out, and even though it's, you know, it's a pound, and a pound seems like a lot for some reason, it really doesn't seem like that much, but uh, when you pick that plane up, uh, that thing's a tank. So anyway, let me get everything... Uh, Stir it up, I gotta get a big mixing cup that I can throw away when I'm done. So I get a big mixing cup, get everything stirring together, throw all that in there, and then just pour it inside. And then uh, we'll just wait for it to all set up with hopefully uh, it's not gonna flash where it gets really hard and starts smoking. So I will be down here for probably the first, you know, once it's, uh, once I get everything uh, stirred in, I I'll be, down here eyeballing it you know and just make sure it doesn't get too hot where I've got to move it outside so I'll set it up I'll set it up on a board a piece of uh, scrap plywood so just in case I've got to move it outside I could just go ahead and just put it outside the door I've had 30 minute epoxy go off in a large batch like this before um, and that was when I was making the biplane that I had to stir up a bunch because I needed a lot of 30 minute epoxy and I very quickly realized that if it's not, if you can mix up a lot on a flat board, like a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper, you can mix up a good batch and it doesn't flash. If you put it in a small little container, as soon as that stuff starts to flash, 
30 minute epoxy um, it gets really hot and starts smoking and that when I had it in my hand when it started going off so I threw it on the floor opened up the door and kicked it out the door outside and it, you know it didn't catch on fire but it was smoking it, it, it went off pretty good so uh, I learned my lesson very well with that so anyway I'll get this stuff all put together and as soon as everything is set up and I get the plane back inside wings back upstairs uh, I'll bring it back in to show you exactly where it's going to get attached to all right, I decided to bring you guys back in just to let you know that, uh, oh, by the way, that light, that's my halo. I am, I'm angelic. That's what my mom says anyway. So anyway, uh, what I'm doing is I'm stirring up, nicely, quickly stirring up some 30-minute epoxy. I've been stirring it for probably about a minute or so, and it's, it's pretty good to go. Now what we do is if you're on a, in the, with nitro, with nitro planes, you need to kind of seal up the firewall because with the with the the oils that are in nitromethane fuel um, it gets into the wood and then just starts destroying the wood you don't have as big a problem with gasoline planes um, but the firewall on that plane outside has been I've already taken care of it now what I'm going to do with this is what I do with those planes whenever I do a firewall is I take some 91% isopropyl alcohol and put a little bit in here to thin it out. And what it does is it, it makes it easier to paint it, but it also makes it easier for me to mix all the lead pellets with it so that it encapsulates everything so when I pour it in, it's going to flow out nicely and be one solid block. Now how much, how much do I put in? I, I wish I had a good ratio. Normally I put in more than I need because that's the way I do things. Uh, I just I want to have it so that it's it's very liquid and very easily paintable. So it's uh, I'm almost done stirring it up. I want to show you just how just how liquid it is. And as the alcohol evaporates, it will set up. It just makes it easier to to paint it on or to bind it with the uh, with all the little. This is the way it comes out. It just kind of drips out. So it's it's quite watery. Um, I'm just making sure that I get everything in here mixed into it and this will also not let it set off early um, because it's thin and with the alcohol in there until it evaporates it doesn't uh, it doesn't bond too well it's this it does take a lot longer for it to bond but it'll work out better than that so all right let's get you a little bit closer here And here is all the lead, and I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in and start storing. And there's a bunch that didn't uh, fall out, but it's okay because they're going to get, once I pour all this in, it's, uh, everything's going to flow down and lock it up tight. Alright, so this stuff here, you can see how watery it is. And that means that it, everything will, it'll be nicely sealed in. So, let me go ahead and pour this in. If I wanted to, I could pour some of this out, but I'm just going to let it flow in. Alright, it's all in. Let me clean this up. Yeah, it, it was it was brand new and it was nice. I got these from a, from a friend of mine. Um, but you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice good for the purpose. Just gonna kind of tap to make everything level out best I can. And that'll be good. It's got a lot of air bubbles on the top of it. I'll just bring it up to you. It's got a lot of little air bubbles on the top of it, but those will start to pop uh, after a given amount of time. So if I wanted to, when it's starting to set up, get a little thick, because right now, if I wanted to, I've got so much, I can probably pour some of this off. So I may do that. I haven't decided yet. I've got those little uh, syringes that if I care to, maybe we'll give it a shot and see how well it works. 
these are those little syringes I get uh, for flushing and they work out very good for even for uh, for putting epoxy into tight little spots and uh, I get them from that amazing place called Amazon and if you want it they're XL and I think there's a hundred to a box and it's at a hundred they're very affordable and they'll probably last you a lifetime so let me snip this off pull some of this out Uh, it took about that much out. It's not much, but you know, every little bit will help. So I'll tap this off now. What I want to do is I want to show you guys kind of where this is sitting, weight-wise, because it was uh, pretty much about it was about one pound. So let's see what it's going to register on the scale, because we went from. It was 1.23, and we're 1.1, so it wasn't as much. So it ended up only being a tenth of an ounce for uh, for all the the epoxy. But you know, I think that's going to be fine to get me to where I want to go because I, I need two screws to hold this down. So that'll be my uh, that'll be my point three. So anyway, I'm going to get this stuff all taken care of once again off camera, and then. Uh, uh, later on when I get the plane back in um, If it doesn't start pouring out if it starts pouring out. I won't see you guys until probably Thursday um, But I'll, uh, I'll bring it back in just to show you how this is going to get mounted and uh, With the hopes that we'll be one step closer All right, everyone welcome back to the pit. It's the 16th of, of May. Yeah 16th. Wow. Holy crap. All right, today, what I'm going to do, because it's about 6 o'clock in the afternoon, early evening, we're going to take all this off, and we're going to try to put the one pound, one ounce chunk of lead up on the top of the, uh, the motor mount. So let me get this all torn down, and then I'll bring it right back in, and uh, let's we'll see what i got to do. All right, you can see the sun's getting low on the horizon. I'm starting to squint a little bit more now. Looking more like Clint Eastwood. Okay, here's what I had to do. I had to shorten this. It was going to be too high because I didn't take this off when I made it. I thought I had a little bit more room and it was just sitting just slightly proud of this. So I had to, I had to shave the stuff off the bottom. Almost all of what I took off the bottom was just epoxy. It's, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm kind of hoping you can. There's just a little bit of, uh, of pellets up the top. So anyway, so that came off. That gave me the room I needed. And so I'm just shy of a pound. So I took pretty much what I had to take off there and grind this little section out to have kind of it sit farther back. Uh, I had to take about, it was about a tenth of an ounce. Um, so I'm not too concerned about that because what I'm going to be doing with this because it's sitting over this I'm going to wooden box the outside edge of this thing um, just to add so I'll epoxy it on all the way around so I'm adding more strength to the whole piece so that nothing could break off of that and that little bit of weight with the wood will hopefully bring me back up to where I need to be um, so I'll use some good good it actually looks like light ply. I'll use some good eighth inch uh, marine grade plywood. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the wings down. I'll get it all set up and I'll show you. I'll set this off to the side and let's take a good look at uh, if that's enough weight up front to balance it or if it needs a little bit more. Uh, so hopefully, you know, that'll be enough. I don't have the plywood up front, but what I could do is I can estimate about the size of the plywood and just go ahead and just, you know, tape it to the front of this or whatever. So I'll get this set up, bring the wings down, uh, attach the wings, put the put the, the cowling back on it again, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back in and let's lift it up, see what it looks like. 
All right, it is all back together again. Let's go ahead and give it a lift and, you know, as per usual, hope for the best. I put the doors back on again, uh, just to put them on, just so that, because they're a little bit uh, heavy on the tail side, as opposed to being heavy up on the front side. So, let us see what happens. That's looking pretty good. Oh. All right. Hopefully that looks pretty good to you. I'm not looking. Let me see if I can get the light better. There we go. I can't see a side view. I'm j I'm just from point of perspective from where I'm standing. It looked like it was pretty level. Um, I'd rather have a little bit nose heavy, but that's with everything up front. So. I'll go ahead, I'll get that finalized, get the little side pieces because the, the pieces of uh, um, plywood were taped to the, to, to the weight. So I'll get that wrapped around the outside and then when I stick it down, I'm going to put the screw in there but before I put it down I may use either clear RTV or some contact cement. Um, I got to see if I got clear RTV, if not I can just use contact cement but either way um, my goal is to have it so that not only will it be screwed down, but it's going to be it's going to be stuck in a way where it it, it shouldn't want to come off. Even if even if I pull the screw out, it shouldn't want to come off. But I can still get the motor off the way it's sitting because there's enough clearance. You know, we're looking at you know maybe maybe 15, 10, 15 thousand clearance, but I can still unbolt the motor, the whole motor with the four bolts on it, and just slide it out. So so I should be good on that. So it's uh, when I uh, and it's a good time for it to happen. When I uh, put the left wing on, I realized that one of the extensions, the servo extensions, uh, had a bare spot on it. So I must have hooked it on something at some point in time uh, when I was moving it around. So I will be opening up the uh, taking this the wing servo out and uh, just put a new extension in. Uh, the extensions are cheap, so it's, I'd rather, you know, you know, throw away a, a you know, a 95 cent extension uh, and, uh, and not lose an airplane. So anyway, all right, so this is pretty much ready to go. The way the plane sits right now, it is ready to fly. It's all balanced out, ready to fly. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait uh, probably it's probably not going to be done this weekend. Um, it's going to be uh, probably set up, hopefully, if not Monday of next week, but I doubt it, hopefully the next weekend. Now that, I believe, is, yeah, I think it's I think it's Memorial Day weekend. So we'll see how things progress through that because we're going to be really busy at the store, and I don't know if I'm going to get a day off during that. It's just going to be... Uh, but regardless, it's going to be flown very soon. Uh, my whole goal Friday is to just go up with the uh, Piper and just go have some fun. So, um, yeah, that's about it. So she's uh, she is she is ready to go, and here she is with the with the doors on and the wing attached. It, it hasn't been fully assembled, put together like this, ready to go. This thing here, I am still really fudging around what I want to do with this is it's, it's and this is just me I'm gonna fly this one this is gonna keep loosening up so I'll use that viper tight stuff to put it in there I may put a little backer behind here just something to slide up it's just gonna be a pain in the ass to get to it because I never took care of this problem yet either but I've got to get the uh, the controls the, uh, the instrument panel off because I've got to tighten this up because this loosened up in testing so I've got to come up and then uh, tighten the, the nut up on this side and I'll probably uh, either hit it with some I'll probably hit it with a little bit of contact cement um, for the same reason that if once the contact cement's on there it's not going to want to back out you know it'll be it'll be something forceful to get off and what it was is when I was trying to unscrew the uh, the little stopper in it that's what got it to start to rotate so um, so that needs to be tightened up but that's not that big of a deal 
And the way things are going, I still have time. So let's see. Um, I don't know if I'll get that done because tomorrow is Thursday. I don't know if I'll get that done tomorrow, uh, but if I do work on it, I'll, I'll bring it back in because I want to put together at least a short video for you guys. Um, for, uh, you know, video 89, just just to show you the little finale of, of doing it. So anyway, um, if I come back down and do a little bit of work tomorrow on it, because I got to get the Piper Cub ready to go uh, for Friday, if I have Friday off, um, that's under contestation right now because I was told I might be working and I said no. But anyway, um, so what I'll probably do because it's still going to be, it's going to be nice tomorrow too. So I may have the Piper Cub up there. I got to do a little moving stuff around to get the van ready for the Cub. But I got to charge the batteries and do some other stuff in the Cub. So while the Cub's up by the van getting ready to go, um, I'll bring it back down here. We'll, uh, we'll do a little bit more work and then, uh, you know, pretty much call it done. So the other thing I could do is if I wanted to, and I still may do it, uh, because then I can, I'll end up taking weight out of the nose. But you can see how little flex there is. There's just a little bit of flex in this. And, and I don't really know how much I'm gonna need. I'd like to think maybe about taking one of these out. Whether it's the little one, it'll probably be this one, and leave the, leave the shorty up on the top. That'll that'll be that'll allow me to take weight out of the front too. So I just don't know if I want to take the time to do that yet, or at least just get the first flight in just to see how she flies. Um, because you know we're looking at taking maybe maybe two or three ounces, if not a little bit more, out of that lead weight up front. And that lead weight being just shy of a pound isn't going to keep the plane on the ground. It's still going to want to take off and fly. I just, and I haven't waited out. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Maybe we'll get a final weight on her, just the way she's sitting. So, you know what? I think that's what we'll do. So, hopefully you guys want to see. So, I'll see you back down here tomorrow.